I had been teaching courses on um, org theory and um, had been talking to students a lot about how uh, the environment was shifting, how the environment had become more um, uncertain. And that was my way of uh, understanding what management was doing, that, that most organizations at the time were uh, flattening their organizations, uh, eliminating layers of management, and uh, giving workers, uh, or should say workers, but work, giving people in the organization more decision-making authority. Um, it was as though rather than setting up all these elaborate hierarchies to, to shield people from the environment and, and bureaucratic structures to prevent them from exercising choice, they had recognized that um, in this highly uncertain uh, world that we were in, that workers, people who came in line with customers, uh, needed to be able to make decisions. Uh, it also had the benefit of, of eliminating a lot of highly paid managers and, uh, um, and saving, saving money in that respect. Um, it, it occurred to me before that when people had talked about empowerment, it had been almost a, a philanthropic um, idea that it was something that people like Robert Owens in Scotland had done in the early Industrial Revolution, that it was a nice thing to do for workers if you could afford it and if your values supported that. Um, and what I was seeing now was a very different rationale. Uh, it was one based on economics, that organizations to be effective in that new environment simply had to put people in contact with that environment and allow them to make choices and adapt. Um, the organizational responsiveness was now an issue.